Can you see my screen? Yes, madam. Thanks. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Arpita. Today we are going to discuss a little about um, synchronous and asynchronous Apex. So these are the synchronous Apex and asynchronous. In a, in a synchronous, the thread will, uh, will not wait until it completes its task uh, before proceeding to next. So a synchronous uh, will wait for the task to complete and then we'll proceed to next. In asynchronous, <laughs> Uh, we'll, in synchronous, we'll wait for a task. In asynchronous, we won't wait for a task to complete and we'll proceed further. <clears throat> the, uh, in this, in the synchronous, the code runs in a single thread. And in asynchronous, uh, the, the code runs in a multiple threads. Uh, example of a synchronous is trigger, controller extension, and custom controller. A synchronous example is uh, the batch and a future annotation. Um, <clears throat> synchronous Apex uh, is quick and um, immediate actions and the transactions are immediate and serial and it has a normal governor limits. In asyn uh, asynchronous Apex, the actions will not block the transaction or the process and the duration is not, not a priority. And here the governor limits are high. So this is a, sorry diagrammatic uh, representation of a synchronous and asynchronous. Generally in technology terms, a process will depend on uh, other process. So in a, in a synchronous, the process A, uh, the, the process A wants some information from the B. So it sends a res, uh, request of that and it waits for the uh, response and then completes the task and then proceeds further. But a synchronous one, the process A, if it wants something, uh, some information from process B, it sends the response. Uh, it sends the request, and it will won't. <clears throat> um, it will won't wait for the response from B. It just continues um, to move forward. Then later in the background, um, it gets the response, and the task will be completed in the background whenever the resources are available. So this is the diff main difference: synchronous and asynchronous. So these are the governor limits in both synchronous and asynchronous Apex. <clears throat> so I've taken like a few of them. Uh, total number of SOCL queries in synchronous is 100, in asynchronous is 200. And the uh, SOCL queries retrieved is 50,000. And uh, records retrieved by database query locator is 10,000. SOCL queries is 20. Records retrieved by single SOCL query is 2,000. DML statements is 150. Uh, results of uh, DML statements, approval process, and empty recycle bin is 10,000. And we have total number of callouts uh, call in synchronous is 100, and the maximum number of methods uh, with future annotation allowed per Apex invocation is in synchronous is 50. In asynchronous, <clears throat> only one is available in queuable context. Uh, <laughs> the maximum number of jobs added to queue is 50 in asynchronous and in asynchronous it is one uh, heap size is 6 mb and in asynchronous it's 12 cpu is 10000 milliseconds in synchronous and 60000 in asynchronous execution time is 10 minutes and um, maximum number of push notification methods allowed per apex transaction is 10 in asynchronous it's 10 maximum number of push notifications that can be sent through each is 2000 so these are the uh, governor limits. So here we have uh, uh, asynchronous method, uh, methods. The first one is a future annotation. Um, we can uh, declare a future annotation uh, at the beginning of the, uh, before the method declaration. And future methods are static methods and uh, they'll only return a void type. Uh, here in future methods, um, we can't de uh, declare as uh, object as a parameters. Uh, um, we need to declare like a primitive data types or a collections of primitive data types as a parameter, but not as object. <clears throat> and uh, future methods can't take standard or custom objects as or yeah, as I told, as objects it can't take. And the uh, future methods <laughs> can't invoke another future method. And uh, a future method may or may not be executing in the same order as it is called. So. <clears throat> 
so the order is not uh, um, um, like the, uh, it doesn't follow any order it may or may it may not follow order future methods can't be called from a trigger so you can't call um, future methods from a trigger and also you cannot call future methods from a visual page controller or a constructor of a controller so next is a what is a batch apex so <clears throat> when you have a uh, a large number of records, like it's uh, 10,000 or a million records. So when you want to execute them, you need to do it in within a system limits, like, like the, within the governor limits. So when you have uh, those many number of records, uh, you might exceed those limits. So, so in that case, you can use a batch of X. You know, batch, uh, what is a batch of X does is it divides uh, each uh, number of records into a batches and executes them asynchronously so that each batch will have their own governor limits. So in this way, we won't be exceeding the, uh, exceeding the uh, limits also. Yeah, so that is a batch of X. Uh, here, we, uh, <clears throat> to use a batch of X, uh, we have an interface called uh, database.batchable and it has three methods, start, execute, and finish. Uh, <clears throat> The default uh, batch size is 200 and the maximum is 2000 and the minimum is one. So this is a batch of X. So this is a sim basic uh, example of a batch, batch of X. Uh, here, <clears throat> batch example implements, uh, this is the interface uh, as we discussed before database.batchable is object and uh, the three methods are see, this is a start execute and finish. In the start, we have a um, written type database.querylocator. I've given that here. I'm just <clears throat> retrieving the query here. And in the execute method, I'm, you know, I'm calling those uh, accounts and I'm up updating the account name and then updating the list here. So, and this is a finish. So this is a basic uh, format of uh, batchable Apex. And next is a schedulable, uh, schedulable Apex. Uh, schedulable Apex is that you can run a piece of code uh, in, in some particular time and during a particular period. So it's uh, uh, like if you want to run a piece of code, uh, like uh, at, a, at a particular time, like uh, during first day of the month or first week, first day of the month, so that we can do with the schedulable Apex. Um, to schedule an Apex, okay, we have an interface called schedulable, we can use that and uh, schedule Apex uh, runs on a system mode, which means that uh, whether user has a permissions or not, uh, the class will be executed. Uh, there are two ways to schedule an action, Salesforce UI and cron trigger. Salesforce UI is uh, the base, uh, the normal one. Uh, <clears throat> the navigation for Salesforce UI is um, set up and uh, then go to Apex classes, then schedule job that you can schedule your uh, <clears throat> class. And next is a cron trigger. Cron trigger, it, um, it consists of an expression where, uh, where you can give at which second, at which minute, at which day, month, year, uh, you want your class to be executed. So the main difference between this Salesforce UI and cron, cron trigger is in, in cron trigger, um, we can even mention the seconds and minutes, but in a Salesforce, you can't do that. <clears throat> so this is schedulable Apex. Queuable Apex, it's like, it's a more advanced version of a future method. Uh, it, it has some extra features. In a queuable Apex, we can pass a subject as a parameters, and uh, we can also get an ID for your job. And um, we can, it's also helpful in chaining the jobs. Here to execute it, we have a system dot NQ job by passing the uh, which returns a job ID. So this is a table where you have uh, different um, asynchronous types, and these are some functionalities I've uh, created, uh, like I've differentiated. Uh, so. First is a future Apex, future Apex interface. Uh, it's no, uh, there is no interface, but you can use at future as an annotation before a method, uh, before method. And here we don't have, um, sorry, before a class, 
Here we don't have methods or a return types. We can execute it by just initializing the class and callouts. <clears throat> in future method, we can use callouts uh, by using this. At future callout is equals to true. Next is a batch of X. Batch of X interface is database.batchable. It has three methods, start, execute, and finish. And uh, met return types, um, method return types is in uh, only start method has a return type. Uh, database dot query locator and iterable, and it can be executed using database dot execute batch batchable and batch size. And yes, you can use callouts in uh, batch batch of X using database dot allows callouts. Next is the schedule apex uh, interface is uh, schedulable and it has one method execute. Uh, it doesn't have a return type. And in an uh, you can execute it using System dot schedule job name cron expression and schedulable, and this is used when you use cron expression instead of schedule UI. Uh, callouts uh, in schedulable callouts is not supported. Next is a queuable apex interface is queuable. You have one method that is execute method, and you don't have return types. And here to execute it, we have system dot queue job and uh, object name. And we can call out, uh, we can use callouts in Curable also. It's with database.allows callouts. Thank you. Uh, yes, madam. Thanks for the presentation, madam. But one thing you can call uh, like a future methods from trigger, madam. You can create a helper class there, you can create uh, that feature. And you can methods and you can call it in a trigger. I mean, oh. you, in somewhere you mentioned in the build, uh, old slides you cannot call we can call but not in the same trigger we can use a helper classes okay. there you can create a uh, other feature methods and you can call it okay man. okay sir. so here you have mentioned somewhere right future methods can't be called from trigger you can call it yeah yeah i hear okay. can't be called from a trigger yeah you can call it so we can call sir yes madam we can call we can just specify any future methods, any callouts you have, like you have to specify future annotation, you can call it in that. Okay. Together. Okay. Yes, sir. Chala, ma thanks for the presentation. It is good, actually. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir.